Someone mentions library and you probably think books, reference, maybe even the Dewey Decimal System. The Lehman Library in North Little Rock has so much more. Jamie Walden took me on an exclusive tour to show me some of the treasures they have to offer. This exhibit is Lasting Light, 125 Years of Grand Canyon Photography. The most interesting part of this exhibit is it's actually the first Smithsonian exhibit to ever come to North Little Rock. It is not very easy to get the Smithsonian. There's a bar that you have to reach to actually hang Smithsonian exhibits on the wall, um, and our gallery meets that, and I believe it may be the only one in North Little Rock like that. It's so illustrative of all of the, the different aspects of nature. It's not just big landscape photos of the Grand Canyon. A lot of it's the, the floral and fauna of the, the Grand Canyon that you can find there and the wildlife, and it's just absolutely magnificent, and we're thrilled to have it here. Reading often calls for a snack or a cup of coffee. One luxury to enjoy is the coffee shop, which will soon have a new name thanks to an online contest. So in our social media channels and on Facebook, we ask patrons, you know, out of the blue, hey, what would you name a coffee shop in Lehman Library? And we've had just phenomenal response. We've gotten hundreds and hundreds of suggestions, really good suggestions. But the best suggestion? Overdue Brew, submitted by Paul Strack. With guests of all ages regularly visiting the library, the staff is excited about a new teen center on the second floor, which is currently under construction. Yes, this is going to be our teen center. It's 1,500 square feet, and it's going to be all devoted to teens and uh, sort of trying to, to make an environment just for them. We have two 55-inch flat screen LED TVs, and we, have a, we bought a Wii and Beatles rock band, and, and have you know, modern couches, sleek design, a little kitchen area to kind of have a place for them to hang out, you know, where they don't have to go out in trouble. They can come here to the library. This is one of my favorite spots. Uh, as you can see, we have a fireplace here. Uh, how many libraries do you know that have a fireplace? Actually, we have two, one downstairs directly below this. Uh, and we turn on every now and then in the winter when it's cold out. And uh, it's also one of my favorite spots because this one overlooks the plaza which, by the way, we have free Wi-Fi all throughout the building that reaches to the plaza, too. Maybe make a little s'more while you're reading your book. You can. You can do that if you want. You might get kicked out. Not by me, but uh, if you bring your own marshmallows, we don't have them stocked. Executive Director Jeff Baskin has been here 24 years, and he has seen almost as many visitors as there are books on the shelves. The demographic, I think, has always been the same in public libraries but now it's expanded greatly. So instead of the same demographic being a small number of people, we have a larger, same demographic, but a larger number of those people. What happens if you find a terrific title but don't want to be stuck inside, missing the pleasant weather? Take it to the plaza. If you want to kind of get an idea of where we are, this is the North Little Rock Community Center right here, and then we're directly across the street from the, the North Little Rock Post Office. This is probably my favorite part of Lehman Library. I come out here and, and get on my laptop and do some work. Besides the fireplace. Besides the fireplace. That's probably my second favorite, but my favorite is the Lehman Plaza. It's just a magnificent facility and, and in the spring when everything blooms, it just it looks fantastic. We also have in the past and, and may continue to do uh, musicians, live musicians out here during the summer. Just kind of another added service that we're not just books at the library, we're all sorts of resources and especially given the economic uh, downturn when people are really trying to stretch their dollar and find things that are free, this is a, a great outlet for that because everything we do here is free except for the passports and the fines. Back inside the library, Jamie shares the plans for another attraction, upcoming gaming nights, to be held in the high-tech link center, which houses 50 computers. That's something we planned for when we built this, and so they all have just enormous video cards. And, and one of the other features that we have uh, for gaming night is, you look over here. events in the evening or for gaming, we change it to uh, a little more fun color scheme. It adds a little funky spunky to the computer sessions. That is actually the technical name of it. They're called funky spunky lights. So, so whether you go for the funky lights, the free Wi-Fi, a special event featuring a best-selling local author, or just a cup of overdue brew, you're sure to find the Lehman Library really stacks up. In North Little Rock, for Sync Weekly, I'm Lauren Clark. 
it actually when there's a large consumption of water, um, people turning on their faucets or flushing the toilets, the water pressure drops because we're tied to the city's water mains, of course, and it takes a lot of water pressure to use those fountains. And when the pressure drops in the city, so does the fountain. We're an integral part of the city in more ways than one. Let's see how many people are flushing right now. <laughs> 